Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be talking about leopard gecko genetics, and today we're going to be talking about the maxinomorph, and I'm just going to explain the maxinomorph, really. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the maxinomorph is a codominant gene, meaning if you breed a maxino to a different type of morph, like a normal, half the babies will be maxinos, and uh, the other half will be normals. And that's pretty much what the term uh, codominant means. And if you breed a max no to a normal, you'll get 50 50. That's what I wanted to show you. I have a normal. Here he is. And then here's a uh, max no. And that's what you'll get if you breed a max no to a normal, you'll get 50 50. And then if you breed a snow to a snow, you'll get 25% super snows, which is this pretty guy right here. Really pretty gecko. He's a black and white, and he's turning. He's getting more of his colors. He's young still, and he's developing his colors each shed. So yeah, you'll get 25% super snows, you'll get 50% max snows, and then you'll get 25% normals. And that's the term for a super snow, to, I meant a, nor, a snow to a snow. And if you breed a super snow to a snow, you'll get 50% max snows, and you'll get 50% super snows. And if you breed a super snow to a super snow, you'll get 100% super snows. And that's how the term works for max snows. Now, in max snows, I've heard, I've heard this a lot, and I just want to clarify this to like all people watching this video. Uh, I've heard people say their geckos are het max snow. Um, you can never have a het max snow gecko. It's not a recessive morph like a tremper albino or a patternless. It is a codominant morph, meaning it's whatever you breed it to, half the baby should be max nose. And the other half, whatever you breed it, like that. Like whatever other morph you get. Um, and that's the general term for a snow. You can, it's not a recessive morph. If you breed a patternless, let's say that's a recessive morph, patternless, to a max snow, you're going to get normals, het for patternless, and max nose het for patternless. You can never have a normal het for max snow just because you bred it to a max snow. That's not how it works. It's not a recessive gene. So I just wanted to go over that and let everybody know that's what happens when you breed max snows, and that's just simple leopard gecko genetics. So comment, rate, and subscribe.